Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. And if you just and if you just heard the as of time of recording, the Kowicki Driver Development Programs um, drivers have been revealed for 2022. The finalists have been revealed, so they'll compete around the country in whatever short track series they're a part of. Seven are here. We're going to try to talk to all seven, and we got one of them right now. It's Jackson Boone, of course, uh, from Franklin, Tennessee, as one of the finalists for the Kowicki Driver Development Program. How's it going? It's going, man. How are you doing? Doing well. Um, let's talk about this. Is a big day for you. Um, what were you doing when you got the news that you were uh, you were going to be a finalist? Uh, believe it or not, I was in the middle of work. But um, man, what a uh, what a perfect call uh, to get to distract me from work because uh, man, I was just absolutely over the moon to get the news. But uh, yeah, it kind of caught me off guard, and uh, they gave me a call and told me I needed to get on Zoom. And uh, there it was. They, they interviewed me right there on the spot. And uh, to, to say I was shocked and excited would, uh, would be an understatement for sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean, of course, you know, our good uh, a friend of the channel, frequent guest, Luke Fenhouse was the winner last year. Um, let's talk, but let's talk about you for a second. Let's, this is kind of, let's get to know you. Let's get to know your background. A lot of people don't know about you. So let's uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us about you being basically about you. So I'm 22 years old, obviously from Franklin, Tennessee. I've been racing since I was about, I would say, seven, eight years old. Truthfully, eight years old. I kind of started, you know, tinkering with racing when I was seven and actually started racing when I was eight. But I um, started out in quarter midgets. I raced in Nashville for let's say two or three years at my local track. And then that's when we started traveling. Um, we won both Dixie shootout regional, like uh, Southern championships and uh, track championships here locally. Um, and then also finished uh, third and fourth in national points. And once I got to the point where I was, you know, grown out of quarter midgets, uh, moved straight up to late models. <laughs> that was a slap in the face, you know, the first couple of years, cause it was, going from a car that weighed 320 pounds to a car that weighed nearly 3000 pounds. So, <laughs> you know, it was a, a bit of a change of pace. And uh, actually I started racing late models when I was like 15, 16. Uh, so I kind of got a, I would say a later start than some kids, um, but ended up racing at Highland Rim, moved up to racing around the fairgrounds, Nashville area. And from then on, we've just been traveling. I've been uh, able to rack up a few wins. Uh, we tracked championship 2019 at Nashville. Um, and right now we're actually traveling with the Southern Super Series and running a bunch of super races. So I think the biggest thing right now is just focusing on getting my first super win and getting, uh, you know, acclimated to run with, you know, what I would consider some of the best drivers in the country. Yeah. Okay, so you're from Franklin, Tennessee. There's another racer that's from Frank. Of course, and of course, uh, of course, the man they call Jaws, Daryl Waltrip. Of course, is from that from that area. Um, okay, so let me ask you this: Who inspire? Who are your racing heroes? Like, who do you look up to? Man, that's such a that's such a loaded question. Um, you know, I really love like I would say one guy that really got me. Uh, I, I guess you say quote unquote buzzed with racing was uh, Ayrton Senna and a lot of people, yeah. you know, obviously a lot of people have seen the documentary, um, you know, they've read up on his story, but uh, I remember watching the documentary when I was, I want to say 12, I think it came out when I was about 12 years old. And, uh, you know, I'd seen racing documentaries up to that point. And for some reason, this one just, you know, I was infatuated with him. I'm like, you know, how can I be like, like this dude? Um, so, you know, I've always looked up to him. Um, you know, there's been a number of NASCAR drivers I've always looked up to. I mean, I love, I love some of the classic guys like Tim Richmond, Dale, Dale senior, um, you know, those guys, they, they could freaking wheel a race car. I mean, to say the least. So, uh, you know, I would say even, even now I'm racing against some of them. Um, you know, if you say people I look up to, uh, Ty Majeski is a perfect example of someone. You know, he's been in this Degum program and <laughs> now I'm racing against him. So, winner of it. Uh, crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. I've got tons of people I look up to. Of course, Ty Majeski, of course, 
the first winner of this scholarship. And of course, we all know where he is. He's in the oh, yeah. truck series full time at Thorsport. Tugger! Now, of course, he had his ups and downs and battles, but uh, looks like he's finally gotten to where he is right now. But I know that you're you're 22. You're one of the oldest people in this program. I know you've had some you've had some stops and starts. Um, I mean, what's I mean, you know, you're you're 22 years old. And it's I mean, a lot of people are like, you know, normally go in the program. It's in there, but what's um i know you want do you want what is your like end all goal where do you want to go uh right now i mean truthfully i would love to make it to nascar uh one of the three series being trucks xfinity or you know obviously everyone wants to make it to cup but um realistically i mean you know i could definitely see myself competing at, at that level um you know because i think the caliber of drivers i'm racing against right now and supers and pros is uh, right up there with, you know, the people that are racing on, you know, national television every weekend. So, um, yeah, you know, I, I would say compared to today's crowd, um, I'm almost uh, <laughs> elder <laughs> compared to uh, some people because it's like you see some of these kids getting in there 16, 17 years old, and it's like, holy moly. I mean, it's just crazy how many young kids are coming up uh, through the ranks. But uh, truthfully, i you know, it doesn't really phase me. I mean, it's, it's God's timing in my opinion. And, uh, you know, I think everything is played out the way it's supposed to play out up until this point. And truthfully, you know, I still feel like I've got uh, a number of years to, you know, still hit my peak in racing and, uh, you know, compete with the best. Yeah. So the big, the biggest thing with all that is, I mean, what have you got planned for the rest of this year? Cause now you're going to be part of this. Where are we going to see you? next so truthfully you'll see me a lot of marquee events uh you know with the southern super series uh, obviously we'll run the goal right now is to run for points in that series um i'll run nashville with the pro club um and then we'll try to keep the super you know as as prevalent as we can the biggest thing is getting experience in the super getting lap time in the super um and you know competing for wins uh but We'll try to run some marquee events, you know, up north. Uh, we've even talked about like Oxford 250, uh, Slinger. I mean, just just you know, some of the craziest races we can come up with uh, because, you know, the the whole uh, I guess ideology or ideology behind it is uh, you're not going to get better unless you race with the best. So um, I think finding some of these really tough races to go to and compete at are uh, are going to be good for my resume and also you know making me a better race car driver. Yep. So he, so here's something that, um, kind of going into this, I know you also know some of the drivers that are competing in the, in the series right now, who out of everybody that I know there's the classic guys, but who are in, in NASCAR or really in any like form of motorsport right now, who do you think is, who do you, do you know any? Who's the most famous person you know from those? Because I know racing is racing and you get to know a lot of people. Oh, golly. That's a really tough question. Um, hey, I'm like trying to think here. I would say, I mean, like, I've got so many, like, acquaintance friends that I've just kind of made through racing. As you said, it's like I've got so many connections. Um, I know, like, Corey LaJoy, um, he, uh, he's, he's given me some really, really good advice. Uh, I mean, it, you know, it's not somebody that I just talk to every day, but, um, you know, he's given me some really good advice, uh, you know, through my team that I race with now, Fathead, uh, he, he's raced with them a ton. And, uh, you know, my crew chiefs hooked me up with some phone calls with him. And, um, I've, I've talked to so many, I guess you could say high caliber drivers, uh, it's it's insane so i really couldn't give you an answer on that i mean my sponsor is actually a uh, a country music star so um and, and he loves the he loves the racing scene so you know i've definitely got a lot of friends in cool places so to speak uh, who's that to kinda... star, if you don't mind me asking do hey, what now who's that country star you don't mind me asking Oh uh, yeah, so it is uh, Jade Marcus with uh, Rascal Flats. He um, he is actually my that's my that's my headline sponsor or uh, primary right now. Yeah, that's uh, it's all. I mean, to be I mean, you're in Nashville. 
Of course, you, you, uh, okay. Favorite Rascal Flat song? Man, I like everybody says life is a highway, obviously, but, um, man, like true. Oh, man, that's such a hard question. I love so many of their songs. I would say, <sighs> Oh man, I like their new album. Like their whole new album, I have to, I'd have to go through and uh, think of like which one I like. But actually, their most recent album, their the band is actually not like together anymore right now. Uh, I mean, they all still communicate and everything, but um, their uh, their whole like new album or newest album that they had, I, I honestly, I love so many of the songs on there, man. They were so good, good. Um, but. Truthfully, they uh, everyone always says like life is a highway. That's <laughs> I've loved that song since I was a little kid. Because everyone uh, sings like cars and stuff. Everybody, everybody. everybody. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, okay, so we kind of got to know you there. Let's get to uh, let's get to uh, let's get to know you on the personal side of things. Um, right. This is just like just different favorite things, all that and. Um, probably something, you know, I'd like to do with, you know, new drivers that maybe not know about you. Um, okay. So what is outside of racing? What are you doing besides working? Uh, so I actually have my own detailing business. Um, it's owned and operated by me. Um, so I've, I started detailing cars when I was like 15 or 16. I would say more so washing them versus detailing them. Um, but now I've gotten to a point where I've got a whole client, you know, clientele list and a list of people that I actually upkeep cars for. And I've gotten into the business of, you know, paint enhancement and correction, you know, correction and, you know, ceramic coatings, all that jazz. So that's my, I guess you could say full-time job, quote unquote, outside of racing. Um, but other than that, I love working out. I love being in the gym. Um, I love finding stuff to do that challenges me, uh, whether it's, you know, just something at home or something at the gym or just any kind of hobby that, um, something that gives me, uh, you know, a reason to be, you know, out of the house and doing something. I, I just, I love finding stuff that, uh, pushes me, you know, day in and day out. Um, what is what are some like most iconic races that you've been to uh man so i went to i went to daytona 500 weekend um let's see here that was in 2016 i believe uh that was surreal i've been to talladega atlanta um one one race i want to go to is indianapolis 500 uh just to, just to say i've been there but uh Man, I've been I've been in some pretty big NASCAR races. I mean, obviously with late models, I've been to the Snowball, uh, All American Four Hundred. Actually, almost won the All American Four Hundred last year. <laughs> so it was uh, that was that was crazy. Um, but you know, I've been to a lot of I guess you could say big races in my lifetime for sure. Yeah. Um. So let's. So, you know, obviously for me from Nashville, the track that you grew up on is Nashville Fairgrounds. Um, how many times have you raced there? Uh, oh, man, that's that's a good question. A lot. <laughs> I would say I've been racing there since, uh, let's say, better part of 2016, 17. So, I mean, truthfully, I've been racing there for at least five years. Um if you have about, I would say I've ran at least 40 or 50 races there. Um, you know, that's, that's including the super and the pro. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been, I've been racing Nashville for a long time. I wish I had a number for you, but I don't even think I can count them all. Yeah. I mean, did, were you at the SRX race there? Uh, I was actually not at that race. Uh, I was in town that weekend, but I had something going on. It was it was killing me. That I was not there. Were are uh, were you at the or are you going to be there this year? Uh, yes, yes, I'll be there this year. Uh, were you at the Arca East race last year? I was. I believe I was. Yes, I think I was. Um. 
Okay, last question. What What's something people do not know about you? Oh, man. Uh, I got some, like, crazy different facts about me. Uh, one thing a lot of people, they, like, don't expect is I love, like, I love, like, heavy metal. Um, a lot of people think, you know, like, I'll listen. I love classic rock. Okay. I absolutely love classic rock. Okay. Like, ACDC, like, Aldo Nova, uh, White Snake. I mean, I listen to, like, the most like classic rock classic rock gets um i absolutely am obsessed with it uh, I'm, I'm okay at like uh i would say i'm not i'm not a karaoke guy but i could i could rap like the entire song forever by drake um <laughs> i've got so many different hidden talents <laughs> so uh, i would say there's there's plenty of things that people do not know about me that i've got going on <laughs> okay all right um it should be fun um okay so when is your next race uh next race is this weekend actually in uh cordell georgia nice all right obviously keep tabs on that um jackson, no, we'll talk, yeah. jackson boone thank you so much and uh we'll check in with you throughout the 2022 season of course this is one of the Kowiki driver development pro development drivers and we'll keep you updated on what the standings look like all year long <laughs>